Nicola Sturgeon has been criticised for her controlling nanny state and threatening to lock Scotland up again to decrease the coronavirus infections. The First Minister has warned the country of another lockdown if they do not adhere to the strict guidelines. A further six people died in Scotland from COVID-19 today, bringing the hospital death toll to 2,415. The courier's Jenny Jewell accused Sturgeon of failing to treat Scots as grown-ups. She said, now that the mood has turned and people no longer believe she has a monopoly on common sense, she is hopping mad. Ms Jewell claimed people in Scotland were getting impatient at having tougher rules than their English neighbours. She said, but Scots are not playing along. They tend to look beyond their own back fences and see what other Britons are doing, and other Europeans, and take their lead from them. They didn't appreciate having to wait longer than their southern neighbours to visit garden centres and golf courses. The First Minister has said, if there is continued evidence of even a minority not abiding by these guidelines and travelling unnecessarily, if people meet up in larger groups or if they're making journeys which risk spreading this virus, we will have to put these restrictions on group size and travel distance into law. The Scottish Government believes their reproductive rate, the R number is between 0.7 and 0.9. Ms Jewell said, this country, too, has survived the worst of the virus, with just one death reported on Monday, and has belatedly begun to emerge from its restraints, our reprieve may be short-lived. Nicola Sturgeon, forgetting she had promised to treat her countrymen as grown-ups, issued an extraordinary reprimand at Monday's COVID briefing. Writing for the Daily Telegraph, Alan Cochran, claimed Ms Sturgeon was delaying enforcing face masks in Scotland in a desperate bid not to copy England. Mr Cochran said, for the life of me I can't think of any reason under the sun for Ms Sturgeon delaying this inevitable move, other than it would look like it's a straight copy of what England's done. And in the eyes of her more ardent followers, that would never do. When the UK government urged people to stay alert, Scotland opted for the stay-at-home slogan. With regards to the COVID-19 response, Mr Johnson has claimed there has been fantastic cooperation across all four nations of the UK.